You are welcome to HN What's Your Say. The number one listening show where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring our Kelly, real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. Three years ago when the government prosecutors were trying to build a case against R. Kelly, two fresh accusers who claimed to be 40 years old then were paraded for the media to cover their stories at a press conference with attorney Allred. The government prosecutor had made it routine to periodically show up with new accusers, who effectively painted the image of the R and B King dirtier each time. They made sure to keep him locked up behind bars while they affected this mudslinging campaign that was aimed at ensuring his downfall, but it looks like they did not do a thorough background check on all these women before making the decision to parade them before the media. While we had been seeing the so-called body language analysts try to make out what are Kelly's movements during the Gail King interview meant and failing miserably, it's important for us to congratulate and appreciate the works of the Brotherhood Channel which is likely the only one before HN News that attempted to carry out a body language expert analysis on the accusers, and to be specific on the two women Rochelle Washington and Latresa Scaff. According to their claims, they were both minors at 16 and 15 respectively when they encountered R. Kelly, and they claim he ushered them to his hotel after a show, where he allegedly abused them. In the body language analysis video, the movement of Latrace's eyes back and forth and repeated multiple blinkings per minute by Rochelle are pointed out as clear signs the two were not being truthful. Indeed, in natural circumstances, a person wouldn't be blinking like an owl while giving the story of a lifetime they claim is purpose to help many others who allegedly suffered at the hand of the R&B king, unless they are stressed about having to lie to have their way. Take a look. At what point did it turn from exciting and cool, oh, you're with boy. R. Kelly, to the room already terrible. exposing himself to us? Scared, Rochelle shut herself in the bathroom. He entered the He entered the room already. He entered the room already, exposing himself to us. Scared, Rochelle shut herself in the bathroom. I was under the influence of marijuana and alcohol, and I did it. At the press conference, the two now mature women over 40 showed up with a picture of themselves from back in the years posing in a very suggestive manner, and they claimed that from the picture attorney Allred held for the world to see, one could easily notice they were under 18. Whether the picture was to prove they were looking attractive enough to catch the attention of a superstar considering it was showing only them and R. Kelly was missing is hard to explain. It's been determined that these women were actually not minors in 1996, considering Latresa who is supposed to be the younger of the two is a born of 1978, with her birth date confirmed as the 2nd of January 1978 making her 18 in 1996, the same year they claim R. Kelly abused them. The determined birth details actually do explain the report by the body language analysis expert who was accurate enough to determine they were lying on R. Kelly. Meanwhile, Rochelle Washington and Latresa Scaff are neither the first nor the last among accusers to tell lies about R. Kelly in attempt of painting him as a monster he has never been. Lisa Van Allen for example did the same thing but was also detected and later flashed out. She too tried to fix her age to suit the government's requirement to have her accuse the R&B king but failed along the way, when she blundered saying she first met R. Kelly at the Home Alone video shooting, an event that took place when she was already 18. This is how the government managed to bring on board non-credible witnesses to pin R. Kelly down, even if it meant making them to tell lies under oath. Just imagining if Lisa too had escaped detection like many others, R. Kelly would be having even more charges on his charge sheet and yes he does. Remember Lisa Van Allen was a part of the New York witness team, and accompanied by her father, she did testify against R. Kelly. And that's the problem of advertising for witnesses to come out like Kim Fox did. Many a time you will get some people who think they can manipulate the system and these will confuse the case even further. What still beats my understanding though until today is how even after determining some of the witnesses were not being truthful, the court still chose to believe the rest of the government mouthpieces. Why would they believe them? What makes the courts think that the others were being truthful just because they spoke out under oath? It's this flexibility by the court that makes me doubt whether they were acting independently or not. 
there is just no way to believe witness testimonies like gospel truth, especially when the very same people have a history of lying under oath and changing statements in front of the media. According to Loretta, it's quite refreshing to see that someone took time to do a body language analysis on these women. It had been R. Kelly on the spot alone with the quack CNN analyst determined to make him look guilty making the noise, and I was wondering why not do the same on these women. It's clear many of the stories against Robert were all fabricated and of late, the truth has started coming out. What still disturbs my mind however is how the court system could have overlooked all these signs and assumed these women were righteous enough to tell nothing else but the truth. How did they bring back a person who already lied under oath and expect them to speak the truth this time round? What happened to the requirement that witness credibility be paramount before someone's word can be considered applicable in a court hearing? According to Kim, this is all about money, public humiliation and propaganda. How come none of these females took a lie detector test? Why isn't anyone asking why it took two years to make surviving our Kelly documentary? Robert for sure had to pay the price, not to mention he is probably psychologically damaged by now and his reputation will never be the same due to these endless false allegations. While the prosecution is using the game of numbers to make it appear as though R. Kelly was an evil being, they need to remember that it's not possible that all those women are all credible enough to be speaking the truth about R. Kelly. If they were credible, we would have seen discrepancies in their statements. The only time 10 women can say the same negative things about a man is when they have been drilled to do this. There is no doubt their consistency is an indication they were trained to lie on the R&B king. According to Varashka, Seriously God is busy opening a clear path for Robert Kelly on the outside, so that when he comes out he will not suffer to achieve anything. Be it money, house, cars and his best thing which is his career. I see R. Kelly regaining everything back easily because to the public eye, he is now determined innocent. I love how God is handling this because he's not waiting for the enemy to waste R. Kelly's life in prison. He is doing things so fast. I want everyone to know that God is indeed alive, trust in him and he will do the unbelievable things for you Robert. Let's keep on praying hard fasting for Robert Kelly's freedom, and for Miss Bon Jean and her team to do the great job. I love you all the supporters of Robert Kelly. May God do good for you all. If you wish to take part in a live interview on this channel discussing any of these topics, let us know by emailing us on sashahnnewsroom at gmail.com for scheduling. That is all we had for you today on HN What's Your Say? To keep updated whenever we post a new video, subscribe to this channel now. Also remember to hit the bell icon and enable notifications. And feel free to share your opinions with us in the comment section below, and let us know if you would like us to publish your views in our next release. We value all our subscribers' opinions.